Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another extremely interesting video. This video is about the very popular and common 1964 Washington Quarter. But first, if you're new to the channel and love coin collecting as much as we do, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button, the little bell, so you won't miss our videos, live streams, or giveaways. Speaking of which, we currently have a giveaway running. You may want to check the videos for that. So in this video, we are going to talk about the 1964 quarter like you see in the picture. It's different varieties, how much it's worth, what to look for, and how to find them. So stay to the end. The 1964 quarter is very popular among collectors, new collectors as well as seasoned collectors, people who hoard them just for the silver content. This quarter is 90% silver and is the last quarter in the regular strike Washington quarter series that contains silver. The mintage of both 1964 issues were enormous, but the coins are not that common in gem condition. They minted 560 million P quarters from the Philadelphia mint. And by the way, you're looking at a, at a Philadelphia quarter in this picture. There is no mint mark, there is no P on quarters back in the day that this was issued. That wouldn't come for another 15 years. So if you see a quarter like this, it's from Philadelphia. And another 704 million with the D mint mark, which would be on the back of the coin from Denver. So they are common, like we said, and here is what you can expect to get for them. So let's start with the 64D. And as you can see, the mint mark is on the reverse. The 64D in very good condition, in this case, MS67, you can get 400 to $600. It's also going to depend on the current silver spot value. As silver price goes up, the value of silver coins go up. As it goes down, the values of the coins go down. So silver spot value still does play a role in these types of, of coins. So for example, a coin in very bad condition would be considered a scrap coin or a melt coin or a junk coin. And based on today's silver spot value would be around $3. So if you're lucky, you can buy better condition coins for that money or scrap quarters for around $3. And if you can, you should do it and not even think about it. And sometimes, like you've seen in some of our videos, you can buy coins that are almost as nice as this, beautiful 64 qu uh, quarters for scrap value for about three bucks a coin right now. Also, PCGS has graded this coin in grade MS67 plus, and one of them recently sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,080. Now, for 1964P and MS67, you probably get between $1,000 and $1,200. Remember, the mintage was lower than coins from Denver. So more, more money for a quarter from Philadelphia in the same grade. The highest grade so far is MS67 plus, and one was sold for $3,000. $525 recently at Heritage Auctions. Not bad for a quarter, right? Now, let's talk about proof coins. The 1964 proof Washington quarter is very common without cameo or deep cameo surfaces in most grades and easily affordable up to about proof 68 condition then it becomes more expensive. Again, the current spot value has an effect on its value, obviously. 
So what can you get for a proof quarter? The highest sale so far, proof 68, which you see here, $1,150. Most examples probably fall into this category and only in proof 70 are they hard to find and have a huge premium. Now, the 64 quarter in proof cameo finish. In cameo condition, it is scarce in proof 69 condition or higher. In proof 70, it sold for $2,187. That's a perfect proof example, proof 70. It's the highest grade you can get. Deep cameo condition is somewhat underrated as fewer than a thousand total examples in all grades combined have been graded by PCGS with the deep cameo designation. Anything grading proof 68 deep cameo or higher is considered scarce. One example recently sold at Heritage Auctions in grade proof 69 for $1,150. Now, we're getting into errors and varieties. As a reminder, we have all of them listed on our website. So, now here they are. First, the 1964 DDO, or double die obverse, which means double die on the front, obverse being the front. The doubling occurs on, in God We Trust, initials, And in grade MS65, this coin sold for $228. The next coin is a 1964 DDR, or double die reverse. The doubling is on the lettering. In grade MS65, which you're looking at, it sold for $978. The next coin, the 64D double die obverse DDO, the doubling is in God We Trust. It's graded MS63 and sold for $93, which is a fairly low grade, but it's the highest ever sold. So if you find a 64D DDO in God We Trust is doubled, and it grades higher than six, MS63, you've got seven more grade levels that you can go up to, proof, to uh, MS70. You've got some serious zeros that you can add to that. MS63 is, you got, you got plenty of room to find a really valuable example of this. The next one, the 1964D RPM or repunched mint mark, sold for $111 in grade MS64. Again, not that high of a grade. You can see the condition of the coin. It's got a lot of scratches and all that. But the, the D is doubled or repunched. It makes it look like there's more than one D there. That's what you're looking for is right there. That's what makes the coin worth money. That and the condition. So if you find one where it doesn't have the scratches on the front, otherwise looks just like this coin and has the double D, you're going to get a higher grade and you're going to make more money. Next, we want to point you to another amazing variety and rarity. This 64 quarter is from an SMS set, which is very rare. We did a video about that and we will link it to this video. In grade SMS 67, it is worth $7,763 in the condition you're looking at. There is a higher grade known that was graded as SMS 68. The estimated value by PCGS is approximately 13,000, but it has never been sold. So we won't know until the owner of that coin decides someday 
possibly to sell that coin or someone else finds one in that grade or higher and then we will find out. But you can see from 67, 7,700, one grade higher, it's $6,000 higher almost. So 7,700 versus 13,000, one grade. It is not impossible to still find a 64 SMS. Watch our video to understand how and why to find them. Obviously, we've given you a clue of why with the value of the coins. Lastly, a very cool variety, which is known only on the Denver Quarter. It's a 64 Type C Reverse, and a very interesting variety. We did a video about them, and we'll link it to the video on this video. Many are suspected to exist. In grade MS66, you can easily get $2,350, which is what you're looking at. And again, look at all the scratches on his neck. They gave this a 66. Find a 67, you may double that price. Find a 68, 69, 70, the prices start getting really crazy. So the 64s have a lot going on. They're not hard to find in rolls. When you coin roll hunt, we're finding them a lot. We're even finding them in our pocket change. You can buy them at coin shows, again, sometimes for spot. In this case right now, three bucks on eBay, fairly cheaply, and look for these errors. Because a lot of people, even coin dealers that are selling 64 quarters, like the one video we shot about our show pickups, where my sweetie negotiated spot on all the coins we bought from this dealer, we got a stack of 64 quarters that make this look really nasty, and she bought them all for spot. So look for the errors. So again, look for them. After all, they're 90% silver, and you can't go wrong with a silver coin. So we hope you liked the video. Please leave comments below, and as always, please like, share, subscribe, and check the link below to our website. And until next time, J&B, signing out.